Okay, so um, today our activity is under our community engagement and communications pillar and it's called Alberta Connect. And what we're gonna do today is talk a lot with all of everybody who's on this call because we have members from all over the province on this call tonight. So we'll get a chance to all um, talk with each other and share some awesome things about our clubs. And then we're also gonna do some um, advertising for 4-H. So we'll see how that goes. I want to start with uh, the 4-H pledge. So if you guys can all stand up and do the pledge with me. Okay, great. I pledge my head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better, better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. Thanks, everybody. Okay, and now I want to thank our supporters. Uh, we'd like to express our sincere appreciation for our provincial partners and supporters for their continued investment and support in our programs. So thank you to our Diamond Clover sponsor, the Government of Alberta. Thank you to our Emerald Clover sponsors. Thank you to our Gold Clover sponsors. Thank you to all of our Silver Clover sponsors. Thank you for all of our Bronze Clover sponsors. Thank you for our Green Clover sponsors, our White Clover sponsors, and um, our 4-H Alberta friend. Thank you for your support. And then lastly, I'd like to thank our Canada National Partners. Thank you for your support. Okay, so uh, we've talked about this before, so I'll go over it quickly, but each one of these sessions is falling under our leadership development pillars, and we have a classroom set up for each one of these pillars. So um, today we're talking about community engagement and communications, and then our last one is going to be in two weeks, and it's on the environment and healthy living. And we have a really exciting program coming up that day we're going to learn about building bird houses and bee condos and it's going to be someone other than me teaching it. it's going to be really interesting so stay tuned for information on that um, and the only other thing i want to say is make sure that you're joining our classrooms that go along with this um, we're going to be posting some more about them but you should join the classrooms because after these activities are finished we're going to continue to post um, activities and competitions and videos and things for you to see in the classrooms. So if you're looking for activities to do or some more learning, um, we'll have them inside these each of these classrooms. There'll be some fun stuff for you to do. So make sure you join them if you haven't already. Um, and more info will be sent in a follow-up email after today about that. Okay, so the last thing I want to do before we start our first activity is I'm going to pass um, the mic over to Tracy, who is my partner in crime. She's going to talk about our um, provincial public speaking competition that might have some of you might have heard of. So Tracy, you can go. Thanks very much, Maddie. Uh, it's so good to see all you kids on the screen, uh, seeing how that is the only way we get to see you. And um, but I'd just like to tell you about the provincial public speaking uh, competition that's that's available for you this year. Um, any member that's a member of 4-H in Alberta can join can um, can register to compete in this. So even if you're a junior and an intermediate this year, we will take your registration and then the top 10 um, in each age division will be picked the junior and intermediates, uh, your speeches or your communication activity will be highlighted on our 4-H YouTube channel. And um, seniors can, will be moved, the seniors will move on to the provincial competition. Um, so what you have to do is you write your speech um, like you've done in years previous or uh, if this is your first year, you can check out the guidelines, the Alberta Public Speaking Guidelines, and uh, write your speech, and then you video it and um, send that in. Um, the one most important thing is that I ask that you register first for the for the uh, provincial public speaking because then you will get a email telling you how to upload your speech and attach your reference forms and things like that 
So um, if you check out your the uh, website that's on the bottom there, the same place that you registered for Maddie's fun classes, that's where you'll find the uh, 4-H Alberta public speaking competition. So um, yeah, with that, I don't know if anybody has any questions. You could just type into the chat and um, I can answer them as Maddie keeps going on. Oh, one other thing, entry deadline for the Provincial Public Speaking Competition is March the 1st. So it's coming up really quickly. Awesome. Thank you, Tracy. So yeah, remember guys, March the 1st. So if you want to enter in that, um, register right away. And yeah, if you have questions, uh, message them in the chat and Tracy can answer them for you about it. And if you have more questions, you can always email me or you can email Tracy um, after this. Tracy, maybe you could put your email in the chat too, in case they have questions. Okay, thank you. So let's get going uh, with our very first activity, which is a poll. So I'm going to start this poll. Okay, so what it was, Maddie, is um, the most kids on here from the West Central region, but it's really quite even. Uh, south, Northwest, Northeast, and Peace, all were, they were all really close. Oh, awesome. Okay, and most of the kids on here are junior, with a close second uh, from the intermediate. So then that makes um, the years in 4-H, one to five is the biggest group. There's 27 of them have been in 4-H, one to five years, 16, five to 10 years. Awesome, good job, that's great. That's a really huge spread, I'm, that's awesome guys. Thanks Tracy, that was last, yeah, I only had three questions. Okay. Thanks so much for doing that Tracy, I appreciate it. All right, that's awesome that there's so many of you. Very cool from all over Alberta, very neat. Okay, we're gonna start our first activity that has to do with talking about our clubs from all over Alberta. So uh, for our first activity, we're gonna split into breakout rooms. And in your breakout room, you're gonna pick someone to write down all your ideas um, and speak for your group when we come back because I want, um, I want you to share what you've talked about in your breakout rooms. And you can change who this is every time we go into the breakout room, but make sure you do pick one person who's written everything down and can read it off for everybody. Uh, so for this uh, activity, you're gonna write down the community service activities that all of your clubs participate in. So everyone in the breakout room is gonna be hopefully in a different club. Um, Maybe we'll have a few in the same clubs if your siblings or something are in the same community. Uh, but write, go through everyone's club and write down the different community service activities that the clubs do um, and make a little collection so that we can hear all the different types that we do um, from all over Alberta. Uh, so breakout room one, who was that? I think that was, uh, with, that was with Quinn. So I've just kind of taken the role. Awesome, um, okay, go ahead. So some of the community services that people in our group did was um, the one member donated $200 from her steer and to a food bank. And then um, some Christmas, Christmas caroling, uh, wrapping gifts, um, volunteering at the hospital. Uh, the one club did a joy of giving and pray gleaners uh, program. So that was were pretty cool. And then, yeah, just kind of stuff like that. Awesome. Thanks, Lindsay. That's great. That sounds like really great ideas. I'm excited to hear all about these. They're really interesting. Okay, breakout room two, your turn. Hey, Madeline. Um, we actually had two people uh, do ours, but I think we both have the same thing. So if it's okay, I'm just going to do that. Um, so mostly overall, all of our clubs usually do highway cleanup. Um, a couple of the clubs did like um, community breakfasts or Christmas cards to the seniors' homes and donating to the food bank. Um, the club in Bonneville uh, actually makes Christmas cards for the seniors and it's pretty cool. Um, my club did pierogi fundraiser, uh, flip give and the spice fundraiser and that was mostly everything. 
Awesome. Thanks, Brooke. That's really good. Those are really creative too. I love hearing about this because we don't share this type of stuff between regions and clubs very often and I don't hear it very often. So really appreciate it, everybody. Um, okay, breakout room three. Um, I can read out the names too, if you're not sure, which that had Allegra, Nika, Courtney, Hazel, uh, Joanna McKenzie, uh, Mason, Morgan. We had members who bought flowers for businesses. We had food bank drives. We had gardening for seniors and highway cleanups. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry, that was um, Joanna, I think. I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was Joanna, right? Who came up? Thank you, Joanna. <laughs> Um, okay, room uh, number four. Um, some people helped with the events at their hall. Uh, a few people helped with the food bank. One club did tire recycling and another club did cleaning the cemetery. Uh, someone did pancake supper. Uh, volunteered at community suppers. Another club did painted the bleachers at the Egg Society. Another person helped wash dishes for an Egg Society fundraiser. And another club sold calendars. Oh, sorry, I was on mute. Thank you, Elizabeth, appreciate it. Break out, <laughs> break out room five. So for some of us, we did highway cleanup. Um, some of us did stuff with seniors um, to like. We uh, played games, like our club played games with them. So we would bring a whole bunch of games and then we would play with them for an afternoon and then we would submit our hours. That was before COVID, of course. And then um, one club does electronic recycling. I hope I, that's correct. And then a bunch of us do food bank drives, and then another club does snow angels, which is snow shoveling. Oh, and then I didn't mention this in the group, but I was making a video for my club. That was like a variety show and we were gonna send it to seniors, but I never got to save it. So it's still in the progress. Awesome, that's a great idea. Thanks for sharing uh, Dawson and Mile. I appreciate it. Those are, well, that sounds like your clubs did great ideas. I like your Mario a profile picture. Um, okay, uh, and last room, uh, number six. So we were pretty similar to a lot of the other clubs. Uh, a lot of our members participated in like food bank drives and helping out with Christmas suppers in their community. Um, there was also a lot of like making Christmas cards and Valentine's Day cards for the elderly people. Um, there was also highway cleanup, painting bleachers for the Ag Society, and then just helping out with other general community events. So like other suppers or like festival trees. Yeah, that sounds great. That's a huge, a long list too. You guys had, um, it sounds like a good variety of stuff, which is really awesome. Uh, thanks everybody. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just making sure. I hope I think I got all the breakout rooms. I'm pretty sure I did up to six. Um, I'm sorry if I missed you. Uh, so we're gonna do another activity. We have a couple to get through. Hopefully we can get through all of them, but if not, I'll be posting them in the uh, classroom to do later. But uh, let's get back to sharing my screen. Thank you for sharing everybody. That was really great. And uh, we'll explain the next one before we go into our next breakout room. Um, okay. So this is kind of our um, bigger activity for today. And then we have a smaller one, but um, I want you in your breakout rooms, we're gonna keep the same breakout rooms and um, you're gonna design a promotion for 4-H. So this can be anything. It can be a handout, um, a social media post, a poster, uh, anything that you, a video, anything that you um, would want to do to promote 4-H Alberta. And um, you're gonna come up with it in your group. 
and what you want to do, you can write out your plan, you can draw a picture of your plan if you want to, whatever you want to do, um, and talk amongst yourselves. The only thing is that I want you to answer um, these three questions. How will this promotion be distributed? So how are you going to send out this promotion of 4-H to everybody? Is it going to be through social media? Are you going to post on a community billboard? Are you going to give out handouts? Is it going to be word of mouth? So you have to decide what you're going to do to spread it. Uh, the second question is, who is this promotion meant for? So are you trying to promote 4-H for more people? People to join it? Are you trying to promote it um, to get more sponsorship in your community? Are you trying to promote it to encourage people to attend a fundraiser so you can decide how you want to promote it and who, who it's meant for? And um, the third question is why you think it's important uh, to promote 4-H and talk about 4-H. So this can be anything from why you think 4-H is important and why you want other people to know about it uh, to how you think promoting 4-H can help. So um, I know these are kind of some bigger questions. So if you have, um, if you're confused or you need any help while you're in your breakout rooms, please let me know and I can come in and give you a hand. Um, I also have the questions, so try and write them down now. But uh, if some for some reason someone in your group or no one in your group has them, I'll come in and give them to you. Um, yeah, so like I said, you can either write out your plan. If you want to draw a picture of your plan, you can. Um, and then you can pick a speaker or you can pick a couple speakers in your group. It's up to you um, to present it to everybody when we come back. Present how you're going to uh, promote 4-H to um, your community. Okay, it looks like everybody's back. So we'll get started. Um, we're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, we'll go breakout room by breakout room and you can share your plan um, with us all and we'll get going. We're going to go backwards this time. So we'll start with breakout room six. Your speaker can go first. Awesome. Thank you. So my group decided that we would make a social media post just because um, it'd be easier to reach the audience that way through Facebook or like Instagram because lots of parents or even children have it. And we decided that we wanted to make something for people to join. Uh, we decided to promote 4-H because we talked about how you can learn new skills. One member brought up about shearing sheep and doing leather work. Um, you can also meet new people. A lot of people shared about how they met new friends or they just even met people at different uh, district club and regional activities they went to. It's a great activity, um, especially during COVID. It gives you something to do since you can't always go out and leave your house and do other fun things that you could have done. And you also get to participate in a lot of different cool activities. So that's kind of what my group thought of doing. Awesome. Thanks, Jelena. That's really good. I really like that. Good job, group uh, number six, breakout room six. That sounds like some a really good promotion. Um, and we definitely want to encourage more people to join 4-H. A, because it's awesome, um, but B, because a lot of people don't know about it, especially, um, well, I don't know. I, I don't know about you guys, but I have lots of friends who don't know anything about 4-H. And now that I have this job, they all know a lot about 4-H, but it's good to spread the word. Uh, okay, room number five. Is that us? I don't know. So our idea for the distribution was to do both social media and do a like a handout or a poster in a public area. And we did have an idea for a TV commercial, but that was kind of too expensive for 4-H. And it's meant for more people to join 4-H and for more people to know what the organization is and what they do in the community. And it's really important to promote it because 4-H teaches so many life skills and it has some amazing experiences. Awesome. I would love to see a 4-H uh, TV commercial. That'd be fabulous, but that's a great idea. Um, okay, room four. Um, I'm wearing room four. Um, for our um our thing we thought of we thought we were gonna do a a poster and then we'd 
um, shared on social media and then and email and then for the second question um who is this for to attract new members that's what we thought of because you always need new members and then the third question why is it important to promote 4-h to grow our club and attract new kids um to attract sponsors and people to support our projects and then these are things that we would write on them. Um, we would um, write it, we would write about um, the scholarships. And we would talk about all the projects that you can be in for 4-H. And that's what, what we thought of. Sorry, I was muted. Thank you, Liam. Thank you, Breakout Room 4. Those are great ideas. Um, I like the point. Uh, that you guys have been making about attracting more people to help with projects and so more leaders who might be interested in, in a field and are willing to volunteer for a project. That's a good way to get them um, engaged. Breakout room three. Um, we're going to do posters and put it on Facebook. And we're also going to put it on public bulletin boards. So what you're going to put on the posters? And we're going to put the activities you can do in 4-H and why it's amazing. That's great. Thank you. That's awesome. It is amazing. 4-H is amazing. And I like the idea of posters. You could put them all over the place. <laughs> OK, uh, breakout room number two. Okay, so for breakout number two, the distribution is, so we're basically gonna make posters and then just take a bunch of pictures of the posters and email them and put them on all kinds of social media. I don't, I don't know what you, what, what kinds, but, and then. We're going to, so why? is because if we did not promote 4-H, people would not know how awesome it is. My poster is just, uh, I have it here. Charlotte's making a good copy right here, but I'll just read this one to you because it's small and my handwriting is messy. So 4-H is not just for livestock. You can design your own club, no, project, and tell everybody and tell everyone about it. 4-H helps people, and it's even, and the environment. Go to the 4-H website to find out more. And also, we're, oh, we like the summer and winter camps. 4-H helps you try new things and meet new people. And also, we another way to do this is by letting our friends see 4-H events and stuff. And then they might bring their friends to to events and so on and so on and so on and make 4-H really popular because uh, someone's friends are someone else's friends and, and those and that person. Eugene, you, <laughs> you cut out for me. Maybe it's just me. Can anyone else see him? Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I really liked the idea, Eugene. I'm sorry you cut out. I don't know what happened. And thank you, Charlotte, for your commitment in uh, making a good version of the poster. And I agree that, oh, there you go. You're back. You're back. But I agree with you. Friends have friends have friends. So thank you. I'm sorry that you cut out, but I liked your idea. You're still muted. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I can't hear you, but I, like, I liked your idea. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so last one is room one. Okay, for our group, we did um, a radio announcement. And then we could also do a um, pamphlet with pictures showing like members enjoying their time and we can share that through social media. And uh, just to get more members into the program and we thought promoting 4-H is really important to like show how great of a program it is and just to grow the program. Um, in the radio announcement, we 
we would include um, like opportunities like 4-H camps where you can learn more networking and stuff like that. Um, how there's multiple projects and how much you can learn with each project and all the animals that you use, even if you don't use animals. Um, there's a huge age group that can be you can bond with from seniors and cleavers. Uh, there's scholarships that are available and there's always something new to learn in the program. And it's just a great program where you can learn lots. So yeah. Sorry, I'm really bad at unmuting myself today. Thank you, Brick, everyone. Thank you, Lindsay. I appreciate it. That's, um, I like it radio announcements actually, uh, because a lot of the time, well, I don't know, my parents listen to the radio and I started listening to the radio. I don't know if that makes me seem old, but I do listen to the radio, but parents are the ones who are suggesting the activities to their kids sometimes. So if we wanna get younger members um, registered, it's a good way for that to happen because the parents will hear and then they'll um, think it sounds exciting and interesting. And especially if we have members doing the promotion themselves uh, with their friends and things like that. Um, I don't know, it seems a lot more fun than when a boring adult such as myself is talking about it as I am doing right now. Okay, so I think we're basically wrapped up for today. I had a couple other activities, but um, you guys did a really great job just communicating and having some time to connect. So I just wanna show you the thing that we're gonna leave you with, the activity we're leaving you with that you can take and do on your own time and upload to our classroom. Um, as always, we're gonna have a draw for everybody who uploads to the assignment. Um, you're, we're gonna have a draw to win a prize. Uh, I'm sorry for the two people who have won prizes and haven't got their prize yet. <laughs> it's coming, we just haven't sent it off yet because we've had um, to figure out some stuff at our center before we can collect the prize together and send it to you, but it will be coming, I promise. Um, so here, I'm just gonna show, share my screen really quickly and then we can, then I'll send you off just so that you can see what we're leaving you with. Okay, so similar, oh, let's wait for it to load, sorry. Similar to what we just did, um, we're, sorry guys, I know I'm lagging, one second. Okay, hopefully that's better. Um, we're gonna get you guys to make a social media post for your club. So it'll be a mock social media post. Um, you can send it to the leaders in your club. Maybe they'll want to post it or maybe you can get other people in your club involved in it. Um, but you can do whatever you want. You can make it on like a Google PowerPoint and then turn it into a picture. You can do a video if you want, um, whatever you wanna do. Make a post that promotes your club and it can promote your club any way you want. You can try to get more members. Uh, you can promote your club to get more people in the community interested to, to support it. Maybe you want to get some feedback from the community, um, anything like that, whatever you want to do to promote your club or um, promote 4-H. So uh, I have this assignment. It went live at six o'clock, so it's going to be in the Google Classroom. So if you want to go and make a social media post, it's due next Wednesday, so a week from today, um, and just upload it to the assignment. And then everyone, out of everyone who uploads, uh, we'll do a draw and um, someone will win a prize. And uh, hopefully we can get, I, I'm working on the past couple sessions in this session, we're gonna collect a few and make them into a video, uh, a promotional video to post. So your, your um, stuff will end up on, on YouTube. And uh, so, um, yeah, I, that's basically all I have. This, All these instructions are gonna be on the Google Classroom. So feel free to go check it out. Uh, but that's all we have for tonight, everybody. I'm gonna upload some more stuff to the classroom for activities and some discussions. So make sure you join the communications and uh, community engagement classroom. I will send out more information on it uh, tonight or you might get it tomorrow morning. So thank you for um, coming tonight. Go enjoy your dinner and the rest of your week. And I'll see you guys on March 3rd.